Thank you guys for being here tonight. The need to change is getting faster and faster. And like Joan Jett said, I love rock and roll. So let's look to rock and roll for our inspiration for change. Now, ACDC might get away with making the same great record 17 times in a row. But the rest of us have to change. So what is change? Well, change is being made different. But there's a higher level of change, which is innovation. And that is becoming new. But there's an even higher level of change, which is transformation. And that's radical metamorphosis. So the first technique for transformation is absorb to transform. So this is where you take in to give out. So Chuck Berry invented rock guitar, but he was inspired by T-Bone Walker. And Jimi Hendrix reinvented guitar. He was inspired by Muddy Waters. Eddie Van Halen reinvented it again, but he was inspired by Eric Clapton. You can't take an empty blender and create a recipe. You have to put something in it. So absorb to transform. The second technique for change is know whether to iterate or recreate. You can change in steps or in giant leaps. So uh, you might think of the way we listen to music. Uh, it may look like the way we listen to music has changed in iterations over the years, but it's actually been in leaps. Tape was a leap from vinyl, and then digital was a leap from tape. Another example is of iteration is John Cougar. He hated the name his label gave him, so he changed in iterations from John Cougar to John Cougar Mellencamp, then just to John Mellencamp. An example of a leap was Prince. He's fighting with his label. He changed from Prince to the symbol, which we called Tap Cap, or the artist formerly known as Prince. The third technique is if it's broken, smash it to pieces. We don't, when things are messed up, we don't want to try to tinker around and fix them. We just want to get rid of them. Poison fans, I'll admit, I used to own, look what the cat dragged in. But 80s hair metal was destroying rock and roll, so artists like Nirvana and Tupac didn't try to fix it. They just got rid of it and recreated music. Sometimes you have to just smash the status quo, get rid of it, so you can get to transformational change. The fourth technique for transformational change is do something shocking. Now, shocking doesn't necessarily mean loud and obnoxious. Gandhi was shocking. It just means be heard. Have you ever tried to find shocking pictures of Madonna you can show to an audience? It can be, it can be stressful. Lover or hater, Madonna is always transformational in every project she works on. Now, transformational means radical metamorphosis, a rebirth. If you're not being shocking, you're probably not being transformational. The fifth technique for transformation is merge universes. This is where you take ideas from very different places and you bring them together. David Bowie took humanity and outer space and he brought them together into the person of Ziggy Stardust and we're thankful he did aren't we because he changed rock and roll forever it doesn't matter if you are bringing together rock artists and artists from different genres and putting them together with various degrees of success or if you are bringing ideas together from very different worlds and merging them. The idea is to merge and to get to transformational change. I have loved merging my universe with yours, and we are going to have a great time the rest of the night 
Rock on, everybody. Have a great time tonight. Thank you.